Hey guys, welcome back to another holiday cocktail video. Today we're taking a crack at one of the favorites. This is a classic eggnog. So this is actually kind of a modified recipe from the eggnog that Leandro over at uh, Educated Barfly did about two years ago. And it was really that recipe that got me to like eggnog. Before that, I, you know, booze or no booze, carton, homemade, I didn't like eggnog. But when I tried this recipe, I started to love it. So it's gonna start with three quarters of ounce of bourbon. So a lot of eggnog recipes use bourbon, a lot use rum. We're using both in this recipe. So we start with three quarter ounce of bourbon and we're gonna do the same amount of rum. I'm using Appleton Estate, love that rum. So three quarter ounce. Don't forget to subscribe guys, hit that bell, get notified when we release new content. So yeah, a good ounce and a half of booze in our single serve eggnog. So this is a, this is a boozy one. Next up, we need to sweeten our eggnog, so we're gonna do three quarter ounce of simple syrup. Sounds like a lot, but we, we want a good amount of sweetness in this, in this drink. All right, next up, we've got our cream. Heavy cream, we're gonna do an ounce and a half. I don't know why it keeps doing slow motion when I pour in cream. It always looks gross. <laughs> okay, next up, we need some spices in, in our eggnog rolls. So we're gonna do about a teaspoon each of nutmeg and cinnamon. I'm freshly grinding both. Now, um, if you got the pre-ground stuff, that's that's great. We're gonna garnish this with on top, but I think it's important to actually incorporate some of these spices right in the drink. Grating cinnamon is always a, a hassle. That is, it's basically bark. You're, you're trying to grind bark. Okay, next up we need an egg. So for this uh, this eggnog, we're doing a whole egg. Now, um, I think it's important whenever you're using a whole egg to remove the the chaliza. I think I'm pronouncing that right. That little white stringy thing. Basically, what that is is it helps suspend the yolk inside the egg, so it doesn't touch the edges. The problem is it's basically pure protein, so it will not dissolve or break down no matter how hard you shake this drink. So I recommend either double straining it or removing it right from the from the get-go like I'm doing. Okay, so we're gonna steal another technique from the Educated Barfly. The way we're gonna shake this drink for maximum foaminess is we're gonna use one ice cube, one one inch ice cube, and we're basically gonna shake the crap out of it until the, the uh, ice cube fully dissolves. It's gonna make sure it's chilled, it's gonna dilute a little bit, and it's gonna give us that amazing foaminess. So this is gonna be a good three minutes of foaming, so I'm going to use my VHS remote and fast forward the video. For all you youngsters out there, uh, a VHS is how we used to watch YouTube videos back before the interwebs. And you couldn't skip ahead, this is how we, sk we skipped ahead. It was called fast forwarding. <laughs> Okay, so that was about three, four minutes of non-stop shaking. My arms are tired, but it's worth it. I'm gonna serve this in an Irish coffee mug. You could serve it in a rocks glass, or heck, if you've got those moose glasses from Christmas Vacation, that would be absolutely perfect. Now, since we dissolve the entire ice and we remove that chalaza from the egg, we can do an open pour directly into our glass. Don't need to strain. For garnish, I'm gonna put more nutmeg on top. As David calls it on Booze on the Rocks, this is a bartender's cocaine. So lots of lots of nutmeg on there and a little bit of cinnamon also. More bark grating. I don't know why I do that. I've got ground cinnamon. Why do I why do I do this to myself? Okay, I also like to garnish with some Luxardo cherries. I think they're just they're really decadent and it goes well with the, the rich creaminess of the eggnog and it just looks great. So there you have it guys, there is the classic eggnog. This is the way I like to drink it. Um, it's amazing, it's creamy, it's sweet, it's decadent, just an, a really good and boozy. Don't forget boozy. It's just very good for the holidays. Don't forget to check out some other um, awesome eggnog recipes. I know Tessa over at TK's Bar did two great recipes, one of them without egg, so if you don't like using raw egg, check out that recipe, it's awesome. 
But I would say that these are two awesome cocktails that you should try, especially in time for winter and eggnog season, so. And David over at Booze on the Rocks also did his own version of eggnog using brandy. It's creamy, it's nicely balanced, it's just sweet enough, you get hints of the brandy in the port, a little bit of a creamy mouthfeel, oh. So, lots of great cocktail, lots of great eggnog recipes uh, going around YouTube this time of year. Uh, so check them all out, try them all out. But you know, drink responsibly also. <laughs> Space it out. All right guys, we'll see you next time. Lots more holiday drinks to come. Cheers guys. <laughs>